In this video, I am talking about PD Movie Air 2S wireless focus controller. It's something I personally thought I'd never need. I am a one man band, I film 99% of the time by myself. Why would I need wireless focus controller when I can just turn the lens with my hand when I'm holding the camera in my hand? But then, thanks to lovely people at PD Movie who have sent me this Air 2S controller to try. I am convinced that this is the only way to do it if you have a camera in a rig or if you're just using any camera with manual focusing lenses and you want to have a more control, better control of a focus. So please don't skip, keep watching and in this video I'll show you how it looks and how it works and why this is my choice for manual focusing from now on. Possibly you don't want to know why this is good because you already have one and you're on this video because you want to see how to attach that little wheel to the big wheel and I'm going to show you that first. This is the most confusing bit of this setup. How to connect this little controller into this wheel for it to work. The instruction explains it but not very clearly. I had to, I had to play with it for a bit before I worked it out. This has got a threaded screw and that's got a threaded hole but when you push it in and it goes all the way into the hole, there's no way to turn that inside of this wheel. You push it in as hard as you can, it is a bit tight, until it clicks, and then you turn the wheel clockwise until the whole screw screw itself inside that hole inside of that wheel. When you keep turning it, you will finally get to the hard stop and that's when it's set up. And then you got the hard stops on either end of this. Pull. And to unscrew it, you push it past the hard stop and you keep turning it till it comes out again. Very simple, but not obvious. Okay, packaging. Simple white box. As the box says, simplistic is the word here describing all this. It's a really nice case. This is something really, really nice because I do have a lot of kids in the, in the cases, pally cases, and something like this to keep all the bits together is great because you can just slide in the case or in a camera bag and keep yeah, all the bits together. Inside, you do have nice things manual of course but you do get uh, lots of batteries you do have a batteries two batteries for a motor and two batteries for the controller which i will explain in a minute you also do have a charging cables for the batteries and chargers you have a hex key and some screws to to attach the whole thing to the, the rig inside the, the box you do have yeah it looks great you do have a wireless controller you do have a big wheel controller this is this is great for attaching to monitor or just holding in your hand actually someone else is filming and you're controlling the the wireless focus this is something i thought these things are meant for they, they are but there is more inside as well you do have a, a the battery charger for the little batteries for the for the for, for the wheel for the turning wheel you do have a, two sets of batteries for the motor these little tiny things as well as the charger to charge both of them at the same time. In this you can charge only one at a time of the small batteries. You do have a very simple connector to the hot shoe, cold shoe, uh, to connect this uh, rod to, to attach the motor to. And uh, the star of the whole set is this motor which actually turns the, the lens. You also get very simple rubber attachment to attach to the lens, to the lens that doesn't have gears. These these are okay, but sometimes when the lens has got a bigger throw or lenses with no stops, hard stops like a focus by wire lenses, this usually the connectors on either end get in the way. It's okay if you don't have anything else, but small rig actually do very good. These rubber uh, full size, full size, full uh, length uh, rubber bands with the gears with no hard uh, connectors at the end, so they rotate. We got the gears fully, fully round the barrel. You got a clamp as well, so if you don't have a cold shoe to attach your your rod to the cage or a camera, you can actually attach it with the screws to your cage and clamp it in with this. So, how do you attach it to the camera or a rig and how does it work? Firstly, you got this. The wheel actually is on a little rod which can be adjusted how far it sticks out. There's like a little wheel inside of that which which moves the, the wheel so you can have it closer or further away. Inside of this wheel, which turns here, is a little wheel. And this is the magic bit. 
once you put that in here, you can control the focusing with this big wheel. But for someone like me who shoots by myself, this is the key why this wireless system or system like this is great for me. Because with this, you can control your motor without turning the lens. This, for example, can attach to your to your handle or a cage and on the handle on top of the camera, for example, when it's under your fingers while you hold the camera and you can rotate with two fingers quite easily the full rotation of the lens. Most cine lenses got very long throw, the focus throw. So when you're turning by hand, especially if you want to make a bigger movement, it is sometimes difficult to turn longer distances with hand when you hold the camera in hand. But with this, because it attaches to the top of the, the handle, for example, um, it's so much easier to uh, <laughs> to control your focusing. It attaches to this, for example, so I can actually hold uh, hold the camera in my hand and just do uh, uh, rotations with my fingers on here instead of holding the camera by the lens. So much smoother, more efficient way. This controller, it pushes out to reveal the battery compartment and the battery slides in and that pushes back in to close. Now this white, white strip on this wheel is to stick your stickers to make your marking. So if you do want to focus pull from A to B, you can actually make marks on this. You can probably write with one of those uh, pens you write on the whiteboards and wipe it after, but easier just to make a stickers and stick them on the point to point to point. That's, that's the strip four. It's got a lot of mounting holes as well, so you can actually mount the monitor to it directly on top maybe. Um, yeah, it's it's well well made rubberized rubberized handle and that that turning that turning is definitely what makes this feel amazing to control so to mount it to the camera you use this uh, supplied very easy to use uh, holder it's got a cold shoe a connector that goes into your camera cage use a supplied rod to extend to towards your lens and you don't need the Allen keys or hex keys to to uh, to attach it. You just use your fingers, and it does hold tight. Simply, this motor now goes onto the the rod, and you attach the the gears, the the motor, the gears on the motor towards the gears on the lens, and you tighten it. And that's pretty much it. The batteries are slick. They're very slippy. They have to go. The battery has to go in the motor to power it. And there's no on and off button on this motor. You have to actually pull the battery in, put the battery in or pull it out to switch it on and off. The battery can be very slippy to take it out sometimes. And they have supplied these little stickers, yeah, rough rubber stickers. So you can stick one on the, or two on the battery so you can easily grab it to, to pull it out. Now this other side actually goes on whatever you want to put it on the top handle or a side handle. I like it on the side handle. I've got this uh, small rig handle here, which is a, which is a tiltable with a clutch, so it's great and the fingers there. This, on the other hand, has got a switch. You push it and hold it to switch it on. The green light comes on on the end of it to show that it's on. So once you attach the motor to the gears of the lens, you press the button on the side of it to calibrate it. You press and hold it, and what it does, you will turn the lens to its stop on one side of the focus and then turns the lens to the other side of the focus to register those, those A and B points, the, the, the infinity and the closest focusing. Once it's all done, the, the rotation to calibrate, it just works, as simple as that. And the, the motion is very, very smooth and it's so easy, so much easier to turn the lens with this knob, with this small wheel, than actually doing it on the lens. Especially when you when you handheld in the camera and you want small adjustments, it is so much, so much better. If you don't have a full rig, the cage on the camera, this still can be used on, a, on any camera. I've added a small rig rubber gears onto this kit lens on this Panasonic S5 II and you can attach this simply to the cold shoe, the hot shoe, the hot shoe connector of the, of the camera on top. So once attached to the standard camera with no cage attaches very well as well and it does does work very well. It can be controlled remotely. If you do have a camera like this with this setup on the gimbal and someone else could be controlling the focusing for you while you're controlling the gimbal it is very small and lightweight kit. The range of this uh, controller to control the lens wirelessly is about 100 meters, which is very impressive indeed. Uh, the batteries, although they're quite small, they, they got very good 
lifespan. Uh, the battery for the motor for the motor uh, lasts for about 10 hours, and the small battery in the in the controller, the round battery, uh, goes for up to eight hours. And you got two of each in a in a whole in a whole set. Another great usage for the whole system is to control the zoom and not the focus of the lens. So, for example, you put a camera on a tripod to you know, say second camera filming from a different angle with a zoom lens and an auto focusing lens on the camera. You can actually change you get a full range of the zoom from the distance without the need to go to the camera every time you want to change it but more versatile to change it from the distance with a with a wireless controller like this another great example how you can use this is when you film yourself with a manual lens like cine lenses or vintage lenses even uh, when you set the camera on the tripod slightly further away from you so you can't when you can't reach it to correct with your hand you can actually correct the focusing from the place you are without going the camera it is great value for money because the whole thing retails for about 350 dollars or under 350 dollars right now which is for the for the kit which actually works very well it looks great it's built to last very good value for money it is affordable it's a great price if you are looking for one of wireless controllers like this and you don't want to break the bank you don't want to spend too much to discover that this is not something for you or something you're not going to use regularly this is pretty cool simplicity in the name of this uh, describes this product very very well it just works and it works very very well i hope this video was in some way informative uh, or at least entertaining if it was please give me the thumbs up please consider subscribing and thank you for watching and i'll see you next time in this video, I am talking... I'm not talking about anything because I've got dust I can't get off. Most cine lenses got a very long throw of the lens, the focusing ring lens. Most... <laughs> another good... Uh, another good... Uh,